I remember seeing the movie and uh, crying at the end of it. And um, I don't cry that much at movies. I'm a theater gal, so <laughs> so I remember it very well. And uh, the thing, of course, that that I most connected with it is about storytelling. And, and for those of us who create for the theater, uh, we are storytellers. And in the end, uh, this story is about um, how storytellers never die, that they go on, and uh, how important it is to pass these wonderful stories on. I'm sure you all have a a mom or a dad or a crazy aunt that's told you some wild stories <laughs> as a child, and it'll just go on through generations. And, and uh, that, besides the story being about a father and a son, is, is what it's about, and it's very universal. I think um, uh, it has an accessibility. For people who love the theater, and this is a theater town, for people who love it and love storytelling, I think there's a great accessibility and connection with the audience. Uh, for me, as a director, not only does it have a wonderful um, emotional scenes, of course it has big fantastical scenes, because we're able to create the stories that Edward Bloom tells. He uh, will launch into a big story and all of a sudden the stage will turn into that story and we will do that story for you. And it's up to you to uh, decide whether to believe that story, if that story is really true or, or you know. So, uh, so for me, it, it, uh, as a director and a choreographer in the theater, it allows me not only to do the deep emotional work, but also to do this, have fun with the fantastical moments. And for me, uh, creating musicals, you always want to leave the audience with an image. I know when you go to the theater, a lot of times you'll leave that show and remember a particular image in that show, and you'll remember it forever. And uh, so for this particular show, Big Fish, I have a lot of opportunities to bring images that will, will stick in your mind for a very long time. Um, I wanted to also say that, that uh, the designers, William Ivy Long and Julian Crouch, are also um, fantastical people and they have magic uh, imaginations and uh, they use that uh, element of uh, the elements of, of uh, fire and water and earth and air and everything that's life affirming is brought into the visual in this show. So uh, for me it, it's uh, probably one of the most profound pieces I'll ever be involved in. The show is very romantic, too, because, of course, Edward Bloom falls in love at first sight. So this particular song called Time Stops is about Edward seeing Sandra for the first time. Should I 
try to please or be demure. My hand is trembling, but in this moment, nothing scares me. What's going on? Troubles are a bad 